So this is the architecture of the microcontroller unit. This is a general architecture. So in the architecture of the microcontroller, you can see we have the core. This is the core designed by ARM. So this core can be designed by Atmel or Philips or whatever. So this is the core is designed. Uh, this is the most important. This is the heart of the entire microcontroller. And we have other blocks inside the microcontroller. For example, this is the system block. And this is the analog uh, block. So this is processing with analog signals. You know, in the olden days, we have analog ICs, digital ICs. But nowadays, we have mixed signal ICs because we are uh, putting everything together. Like we have the analog uh, ICs here inside this microcontroller and we have the digital ICs here and we have other memories, interfaces and so on. So everything is inside the single chip. So that is why we call this as a computer on chip or microcomputer. Okay, so let's uh, say uh, here we have the system block and here we have analog block. It's processing analog signals and we have the memories to handle the data, to store the data and uh, firmware programs. And we have the interfaces uh, because uh, I sometimes you want to use a Ethernet cable, sometimes you want to use the uh, USB cable, you know, RS232 cable or uh, USB cable. Nowadays, most common we are using USB cable, uh, especially uh, for example, when you transfer the pictures from your mobile phone to your computer, you are using this USB cable. And you want to use the canvas or you want to use the SPA, I2Z, IDS. Uh, whatever, because as a uh, my microcontroller manufacturer, I should give all the options for you. So you can use whatever the communication mode you want. You can select by yourself. So I have here, for example, USR, that is the transmitter receiver. If you have the wireless communication, for example, uh, or you, uh, you can use the ethernet or USB and so on. And you have the other peripherals. So other peripherals means it can be the timers or any other peripher peripherals and so on. So now I am one company, for example, I have a company, I am the CEO of the company, ST Microelectronics. So I want to design one microcontroller. So in the microcontroller, I need these many blocks. So I have the core, I have the system, I have analog. If I want to have one more analog, if I, have, if I want to have one more digital, or if I want to have one more core, it's up to me. So, and I have memory blocks, I have interfaces block and peripherals block. So I, I have to select where I am going to buy the core. I cannot design the core because designing the core itself is a huge job. I need a separate R&D team, research and development team and developers team. And I have to send, off, I, I, I need more than a year or maybe two years or three years to design this core. And then I have to send it to the manufacturer. And uh, there are so many practical challenges in the core design. So I don't want to design the core by myself. I want to buy the core from somewhere and I design other blocks, systems, analog and so on. Other blocks I design internally in-house design. So I have my own R&D team, developers. I have so many hardware developers, software developers. Mm -hmm. uh, they develop these blocks. So I put everything together inside the chip and then I make the connections here and I make the internal communications by using these uh, address buses and data buses. As generally, we can call as a system bus. So then I can make the communication. So that's, uh, that's the perfect one, right? So I don't need to spend a lot of time uh, to design this core. So I can produce my product very soon or very quickly, as fast as possible, and I can sell it in the market. You know, if somebody knows I am designing some product, then immediately my competitors will also do some research towards me and they will uh, come up with a similar product or maybe even more improved product. So I have to be very fast in the market. So time to market, there's a term called time to market. This is very important in the companies, in the industries. Okay, this is the general architecture of the uh, microcontroller. So in any microcontroller we have, this is what we have. We have the core and the other blocks. So ST Microelectronics is the company that is what we are going to study in our course. So this ST Microelectronics, they bought, they bought the core from ARM. ARM is the one actually who designed the core. And they use, they, uh, this ST Microelectronics, they have 
uh, designed their own blocks and they come up with a complete uh, microcontroller product. So this is called the STM32 microcontroller. So this STM32 microcontroller, ST means what? ST microelectronics. So this is the company name. 32 is, that is the 32 bit, the processor size, uh, the data size. So STM32 means STM32, this is the product of the ST microelectronics. Uh, internally, they are using the ARM core. In this core, we are going to study only about STM32 microcontroller, but you can apply this logic in anywhere in any other microcontrollers and other um, applications. So I think I make it clear uh, the groundwork. This is very important for you before we build further.